soon it will be you who comes begging to me. Someone has cursed him. The movie begins in 1961. A frightened Hispanic couple brings their son Juan to the young medium Sean Sandana. Juan tells her that he can hear a voice, and it keeps getting louder. Sean asks what he did, and Juan's mother explains that he stole a silver necklace from a gypsy wagon. They tried to return it, but the gypsies wouldn't take it back. Sean asks them to bring Juan in, and inside, he sees many demonic hands trying to approach him. Sean reads some prayers and tries to help him, but suddenly, the demon enters the house and begins attacking them and knocks them down. Juan tries to flee, but the demon throws him down from the balcony. As Juan attempts to get up, the floor starts to crack, and a demonic hand emerges from hell, grabbing him. He screams for help, but Sean can't do anything to save him. Juan is dragged into hell, and a furious Sean vows to fight the demon again one day. In the present day, we are introduced to Christine Brown, a bank loan officer. She approaches her boss, Mr. Jax, and asks if he has made any decision regarding the assistant manager's position. Jax tells her that he is still deciding and that it is currently between her and her colleague Stuff. Christine visits her boyfriend Clay's office for lunch. While leaving, she overhears him talking to his mother and learns that she doesn't like Christine and suggests that he see another girl. Christine returns to the office, where an elderly and untidy woman named Sylvia Ganoush approaches her desk and asks for help. Sylvia explains that the bank is repossessing her house and the men are already packing all her things. She pleads, explaining that she has lived in the house for 30 years and made every payment until she fell ill. She says she just needs a little more time as she hopes to have more money soon. At Sylvia's request, Christine approaches Jax and asks if there is anything they can do to help her. Jax checks Sylvia's papers and says they have already granted her two extensions. He hands Christine the paperwork, saying it's her call. Desperate to become assistant manager, Christine makes a tough decision and informs Sylvia that another extension on the loan is out of the question. Sylvia gets upset upon hearing this and begins to leave, but then stops and tells Christine that she is a proud woman who has never begged for anything. Yet she now finds herself begging. Christine feels very embarrassed and moves toward her, to stop her. But as Christine steps back, Sylvia falls to the floor. Security arrives to assist Sylvia, and seeing this, Sylvia accuses Christine of shaming her. The security team escorts Sylvia out of the bank, and Christine feels sorry for her. Suddenly, Sylvia lunges at Christine to attack her but the security guards catch Sylvia and throw her out of the bank. That evening, Jax tells Christine that he is very impressed with her work and that she is at the top of the list for the assistant manager's position. As Christine is leaving for home, she finds Sylvia's car parked right in front of her own. Nervously, Christine walks towards her car, and as she starts to open the door, she hears Sylvia coughing, which frightens her even more. She quickly gets into her car but then sees Sylvia's handkerchief flying towards her, and before she can react, the handkerchief lands on her windshield. It then starts flying backward, and when Christine turns around, she is shocked to see Sylvia sitting in the back seat. Sylvia suddenly attacks her, but Christine fights back with a stapler and briefly frees herself. Sylvia attacks again, causing the car to shift into reverse and collide with another car behind them. However, despite the crash, Sylvia continues her assault. Christine manages to start driving the car forward, puts on her seatbelt, and collides with a car in front, causing Sylvia to hit the dashboard, which knocks out her dentures. Sylvia, undeterred, tries to attack again by putting her dentures back in, but Christine shoves a ruler into Sylvia's mouth and pushes her out of the car, quickly closing the door before Sylvia can get back in. Sylvia gets down and picks up a brick to break open Christine's car's window. She then pulls Christine out of her car and moves towards her, but instead of attacking her, she breaks a button from her jacket. She then approaches Christine and tells her that soon, it will be her who comes begging to her. 
She puts the button in Christine's hand, and Christine falls unconscious. And when she regains consciousness after some time, she sees that Sylvia has left. Later, Clay reassures Christine that the officers will talk to Sylvia, and she won't bother her anymore. As they walk, Christine turns around and notices a gust of wind blowing toward her. And then, she sees a spiritual advisor shop nearby. She decides to go in and get her fortune read. Inside, they meet Ramjas, the psychic, who tells Christine that something has been taken from her. He points to her button, and Christine tells Clay that the old woman took a button from her sleeve. The atmosphere there then becomes a bit strange, and when Ramjas tries to look carefully at Christine's face, he sees a glimpse of a demon in it, which scares him a lot. He says it's enough for tonight and he will refund their money. Christine asks if he saw something, to which Ramjas informs her that a dark spirit has attached itself to her, suggesting that someone may have cursed her. On their way back home, Clay tells Christine that Ramjas was likely just making guesses and leaving her with unanswered questions, implying that he might be a scam artist. That night, Christine hears noises outside her door, and to her horror, she hears creaking sounds from the ceiling above. She looks out the window to check and sees a door swinging. Suddenly, a gust of wind startles her, and then the lights in her house begin to flicker. Christine becomes very frightened, but after some time, everything becomes calm. Then, she notices a demonic shadow on the wall that suddenly attacks her, and at that moment, the lights in her house come back on. Later, Clay arrives and, as he is about to call the cops, Christine tells him that it was not Sylvia. In fact, nobody was there. Confused, Clay asks who did this, but Christine remains silent. They call the doctor, who suggests that it is just a reaction to her being attacked earlier in the day. Later that night, a fly enters the house and lands on Christine's face before crawling into her mouth. She wakes up coughing, but when she realizes it was just a dream, she lies back down. Suddenly, she sees Sylvia replacing Clay next to her, who then attacks her and throws up insects on her face. Christine wakes up abruptly and realizes that it was just a nightmare. The next day at work, Christine realizes that the fly is buzzing inside her stomach. Just then, Stu approaches her and asks her to finish teaching him the loan procedures. She asks if they can do it tomorrow, but he says he'll just tell Jax that she doesn't have the time right now. Feeling pressured, she agrees to teach him, and as she begins explaining, she gets startled by a vision of Sylvia's hand on the table. In frustration, she tells Stu to get his filthy knuckle off her desk, and startled and offended, Stu leaves. As Christine picks up a call, her nose begins to bleed profusely. Jax attempts to help her, but blood spurts from Christine's mouth and then from her nose. Embarrassed and frightened, Christine hurries out of the office, and as she leaves, Stu steals her file. Christine goes to beg Sylvia Ganish for forgiveness, where she meets Sylvia's granddaughter Ilenka, who tells her that her grandmother predicted Christine's arrival. Ilenka invites her inside, and to Christine's horror, she learns that Sylvia has recently died and that today is her funeral. Terrified, Christine accidentally falls onto Sylvia's corpse, causing the table to break and the corpse to fall on her, oozing a liquid from its mouth. The family members help return the corpse to the table, and Ilenka then tells Christine that she deserves everything that is coming to her. Christine visits Ramjas, who explains she is plagued by the Lamia a black goat demon summoned by gypsies for their darkest deeds. For the first three days, the Lamia appears as a tormenting spirit. After that, it reveals itself as a taker of souls and comes for the owner of the accursed object. Christine takes out her button from her pocket and asks if burning it would help. Ramjas explains that she would still be the owner and the Lamia would still come to take her soul. He suggests that she could attempt to appease the spirit and the simplest way would be a blood offering. He then gives her a book to assist her in the process. The next day, Christine hears some noise coming from a room. When she goes to check, she is haunted by the Lamia. Terrified, she rushes upstairs, and to her horror, she watches Lamia ascending stairs. Panicked, she locks herself in her room and calls Clay, but he is busy with work and doesn't pay attention to the phone. The Lamia approaches her room and stands in front of the door, causing her phone's battery to drain, and Sylvia haunts her. 
She then watches as Lamia's shadow attempts to approach her, and as she tries to flee, it taunts and throws her back. It then lifts her into the air before throwing her across the room, and then it leaves. Desperate to save herself, Christine kills her cat as a sacrifice and buries it in her backyard. Clay arrives looking for her and notices blood on her sleeve, but Christine quickly explains that it's just tomato juice, hiding the truth from him. Clay takes Christine home to meet his parents, Trudy and Leonard, and Christine brings a harvest cake that she made herself as a gift for them. During dinner, Trudy unexpectedly warms up to Christine, and when they all try Christine's harvest cake, Christine starts feeling uneasy. She asks Clay if he heard something, but he says no. As Christine begins to eat her cake, she notices some movement in it, and to her horror, an eye suddenly pops out. Terrified, she pricks it with her fork, and when she tries to grab her fork, it goes in it. She eats the cake with a spoon, but starts coughing, and a fly emerges from her mouth. She then hears loud bangs on the door, prompting her to throw a glass at it, and screams for the demon to leave her alone. Clay tries to calm her down, assuring her there's no one there. Eventually, she leaves, and Trudy tells Clay not to follow her as she's unwell. She approaches Jess, who proposes they should directly confront this dark spirit. He mentions knowing someone who can assist them, but the woman won't do it for free and demands $10,000 in cash. The next day, she goes to Jack's office and asks for an advance on the new position. However, he informs her that their deal was cancelled the previous night, and they finalized it with another bank. He adds that things don't look promising for her or for himself at the moment, so the promotion has been postponed, and he believes he may have to give the job to Stu instead. Christine returns home and decides to sell her old belongings to raise the money. However, she is suddenly attacked by Sylvia, who forcibly inserts her hand into her mouth, choking her. In a desperate struggle, Christine manages to overpower Sylvia by crushing her with an anvil, causing Sylvia's eyes to bulge out. But the next moment, Sylvia vanishes. Later, Clay arrives and tells her that he paid Ramjas because he knows how much pain this is causing her. He also recalls a promise he made to always take care of her. Later, Ramjas introduces Christine to Sean Sandana, an experienced medium who has personally encountered the Lamia. Sean explains that many years ago, she first encountered this spirit in the same house and tragically lost a young boy's soul to it. She has waited all these years for an opportunity to redeem herself, to destroy the malevolent entity, and tonight is her chance. But she needs Christine's help to summon it. She tells Christine that her late husband Sandor was also a medium, and he selected this site to build a house because he sensed certain supernatural forces at work here. Ramjas further explains that there is a specific force that creates a doorway through which they can pass and through, which others can enter their world. Sean invites her to sit, and just as they settle, Christine becomes frightened by a noise and sees Sean's assistant bringing a goat into the room. Sean reassures her that everything they are doing is for her own benefit, and asks her to calm down and sit. Sean then recites some spells. And then she explains to Christine that once the spirit has entered her, Christine should place her hand upon the animal. She will then transfer the spirit of Lamia into the goat, and her assistant Milo will strike the goat. She begins the seance, and when Christine asks Ramjaz what she needs to do, he instructs her to repeat the words, I welcome the dead into my soul. Christine complies, and after a while, Sean abruptly stops and announces that something else is present with them. Suddenly, the chandelier begins shaking, after which they realize that Lamia has arrived there and it starts moving around them. However, Sean tells them it is not Lamia, but an unsettled soul from years ago. Christine sees numerous other spirits present as well, but Sean successfully disperses them from the area. As they settle, Sean informs them that another spirit is approaching. Suddenly, the entire house begins to shake violently, and it becomes difficult for them to hear that noise. But then, everything abruptly falls silent. Suddenly, a spirit rushes towards them and possesses Sean, and when Ramjaz asks for its identity, it reveals itself as Lamia. Ramjaz asks what it desires, to which Lamia responds that it wants Christine's soul to feast upon as she rots in the grave. Ramjaz tries to dissuade Lamia, 
telling it that Christine is insignificant and not worthy of its attention. But Lamia insists that it has come for her only. Christine places Sean's hand on the goat and transfers Lamia's spirit into it. Milo moves to strike the goat, but Lamia avoids the blow and bites Milo's hand instead. Lamia then possesses Milo and advances towards Christine, and then it attacks Ramjaz. Then it leaps onto the table and starts dancing, igniting it in flames. Ramjaz orders Lamia to leave immediately, but it strikes him with a chair, knocking him down. It then moves towards Christine, declaring that it doesn't want her cat, and then vomits up the corpse of Christine's cat. Ramjaz assists Sean in getting up to expel the spirit, and just before it can harm Christine, Sean begins chanting spells, causing Lamia to retreat to the table. After a struggle, Sean successfully banishes Lamia from the seance. As they believe it's all over, Sean suddenly collapses. Ramjaz instructs Milo to call an ambulance. But despite their efforts, Sean passes away. Later, Ramjas informs Christine that Lamia cannot be expelled by a medium. She only witnessed Sean drive it away during a scions and warns that it will return. The goat was never slaughtered, and when the night is through, Lamia will seek the owner of the cursed object, unless Christine is no longer its owner. Ramjas asks her for the button, seals it in an envelope, and advises her to give it away as a gift, thereby passing on the curse. She asks why he didn't tell her this before, to which he responds that it's because Lamia will tear apart the soul of whoever receives it. On their way back home, Christine tells Clay that it's over. Suddenly, Sylvia appears in front of their car. However, when they stop, they find another man there who tells Christine that she will burn in hell. Christine asks him to drop her at a diner, where she approaches an old man to give him the envelope. However, when the man's wife arrives, Christine changes her mind. She then calls Stu and confronts him about stealing the loan file from her desk and giving it to another bank. She asks him to meet her in 10 minutes. Stu rushes to the diner and asks her what she wants. She initially says she wants to give him a gift, but then changes her mind again and asks him to leave. She returns to Ramjaz, who tells her she can transfer the curse to a deceased person by formally gifting them the accursed object. She visits the cemetery and digs up Sylvia's grave. Standing there, she declares, I formally gift this button to Sylvia Ganush, and then shoves the envelope into her mouth. Christine returns home and receives a call from Jack, who informs her that he discovered Stu stole her file and attempted to make his own deal with another bank. He tried to shift the blame onto her. However, after he confronted him, Stu broke down crying and he is fired. On Monday morning, that assistant manager's position will be waiting for her. Christine meets Clay at Los Angeles Union Station for a weekend trip. Unaware of its significance, Clay shows her the envelope with the missing button he found in his car. Horrified, Christine backs away and stumbles onto the tracks. Clay rushes to save her, but a speeding train thunders through, leaving him helpless as fiery, demonic hands emerge and drag Christine to her fatal end, condemning her to hell forever. Thanks for facing the frights with us. If you survived this video, drop a like, summon that subscribe button, and brace yourself for more horror. Until next time, stay spooked.